Okay guys, this is a treat. Electric Bike Outfitters, these guys offer a whole range of kits. And if you have a recumbent bike and it's not electric, you can go to one of your local shops and they can install this, the battery, the motor, the display, even a throttle. And you have a network of shops that do this. This is the founder, Jason Livingston. Hey, Court, How's it how going, man? Good. Yeah, so we uh, sell to uh, trike shops across the country. And you know, depending on what type of trike you have, we have all sorts of, sort of systems that work fantastic on trikes. So if you already have your trike and you love it, and yeah. you don't want to spend you know, $8,000 to get a brand new electric trike, you could spend you know, a tenth of that <laughs> and, and electrify your bike with one of our systems. Well, let's come back here with me real yeah. quick, Jason. So this is a cat trike. Which model is this? Is this? This is the Trail. The Trail. Is that a pretty popular one? It is. I'd say their most popular model is probably the Villager or Dumont. Uh, this one's fantastic because it folds. It folds? Yeah. Oh, so, so like the boom comes in and the boom else? comes in and there's a hinge right here and allows you to fold it put it in the back of your car. Wow, is that what these wheels are for? They kind of help it stand yeah. when, when it's in the folded position? How cool is that? And I bet it comes in a bunch of different colors it does. and stuff they have like a that. Lot of colors. Okay, so we were talking about this earlier. A lot of people who get these recumbent bikes or just alternative, anything that's kind of funky, they already own that part yes. usually. But you know, you start to deal with hills or you're commuting to work and you realize like electric's kind of cool. But like you said, you don't want to start over from scratch with like these these you know, pre-made e-bike kind of thing. They're a lot more proprietary. I've noticed that your batteries, is this one called the Dolphin? Is that it the is. case? Yeah, okay. Uh, who makes that that case there? Uh, this one's made by uh, uh, TFL. Makes TFL the case. Dolphin. I'm saying that because sometimes, you know, people want to repack their battery or be able to get a replacement and you're a great source for that, but it gives me confidence when you're using parts that are a little bit more open source. I noticed your colored, colored display up there. Does this one also yeah. have the USB port on it? It does. Oh, I love that. And this is actually our newest model displays. It's a little uh, fancier display. Really? Oh man. Where, where's the button pad for that thing? It's right here. Oh, it's down here. I noticed you have this cool accessory bar and then this is the throttle. I, it's the kind that clamps around a bar so you don't yeah. have to slide it on. I mean, this, this setup right here is actually really exciting to me. Yeah. You've done a great job with that. Yeah, so we have this uh, custom mount here to put the battery. We have the micro mount to hold the throttle. And then we have a device like this for your oh. pedal assist. And this is on your idler, which if you have a trike, you're very familiar with your idler on the bottom. Can you point right. it out to me just because yeah, I'm- let's turn this over. Okay, here we go. We're going in. Right down here. Oh, and there it is. So it has the magnets and that's a cadence sensor. It is. Oh man, that is cool. So your kit, would come with all of these pieces. Correct. And then it's up to the consumer to determine whether they want like a 500 watt or a, a 350 or, or yes. whatnot. They can even do a mid-drive in the front. It's very easy to install too. Well, that's exciting. So. Would, would the advantage of a mid-drive be you get some torque sensing versus? Yes, cadence? torque sensing is the difference between the cadence sits when you do a mid-drive. And then it's gonna leverage the gears. This is like definitely a multi-speed. I mean, it looks like there's almost 10 sprockets back there here. And three up front. Yeah. And I'm just guessing, I'm right on today. This is. So help me out with the price points again. Just what's a starting point for one of your kits like this? Uh, this runs sixteen twenty-five to start off, and then obviously there's a lot of different things with trikes that can adjust that price around significantly. I see. And does this use the same like Sands charger we saw earlier? It does. It's like a two amp charger, yes. kind of a, a blocky thing. Okay, fantastic. So if someone wants to learn more about this, they could go to your site. What's your website? Uh, Electricbikeoutfitters.com. Okay, let me just show your shirt here. There it is, and then. At the site, I'm guessing you have like a dealer list or there something is. where people can go learn more. Yeah. Okay, I have the site electricbikerview.com and I've covered a lot of your kits in the past and we're gonna try to list those going forward yeah. as well so you can compare, you'll be able to find shops. This is just wonderful, man. It's, it's neat to see all the possibilities with this. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, thanks, Court.